Hi guys, I will be starting with the session that is new features in C++ 11. So guys, I have divided this complete session of C++ 11 into different, different parts that is from part 1 to part 8 and I have covered different different small features in each part for your convenient purpose so that you can refer at one chance guys whatever features you will like to learn guys so uh, these are the features which I will be covering from part 1 to part 8 guys so I will be covering auto, initializer list, uniform initialization, null pointers, static assert Overlapping and delegating constructors, converting constructors and explicit, override and final, default and delete, const, const, expr and symbolic constant, variable size, lambda functions, enum classes, std array container and multi-thread. So guys, I have divided this whole session of C++ 11 new features into 8 small parts. So in the part 1 session guys, I will be covering these 3 features that is auto initializer list as well as uniform initialization. In the part 1 guys, in the next session I will be covering null pointer static assert. In another session, I, part 3, I will be covering overlapping and delegating constructors as well as converting constructors and explicit guys. In part 4, I will be covering override and final as well as I will be covering default and delete. In part 5 guys, I will be covering const, const, expr and symbolic constant. In part 6, I will be covering variable size and lambda functions. In part 7, I will be covering enum classes, std array container and in the last part that is part 8, I will be covering multi-threading. So guys, it will be very much convenient for you. That is the reason I have divided this whole session and covered all the features of C++ 11 into different different parts guys you will be finding it more interesting actually with the detailed note down as well as with lots of examples guys which will make you more clear concept wise as well as practical wise guys so please be ready for all these sessions that is part 1 to part 8 covering all the features of the C++ 11 guys thank you guys thanks a lot